Welcome to Lenny's Reads, where I bring you audio versions of my newsletter about building product, driving growth, and accelerating your career. Ever since my chat with Dan Shipper, I couldn't stop thinking about his hot take that Claude Code was the most underrated AI tool for non-technical people. A few weeks ago, I finally started playing around with it, and holy shit, we've all been sleeping on Claude Code. The key is to forget that it's called Claude Code, and instead think of it as Claude Local or Claude Agent. It's essentially a super intelligent AI running locally, able to do stuff directly on your computer, from organizing your files and folders to enhancing image quality, brainstorming domain names, summarizing customer calls, creating linear tickets, and as you'll hear soon, so much more. Since it's running locally, it can handle huge files, run much longer than the cloud-based Claude, ChatGPT, or Gemini chatbots. It's also fast and versatile. Claude code is basically Claude with even more powers. To inspire your own ideas, I've collected 50 of my favorite and most creative ways non-technical people are using Claude code in their work and life. This list includes my own favorite use cases and the best examples many of you have shared with me on X and LinkedIn. The written version of this post includes screenshots for the first 20 use cases. So if you're a visual learner or want to see the prompt in action, make sure to check it out. You'll find it linked in the show notes. Also, a huge thank you to more than 500 of you who shared your stories. Let's get into it. First, let's install Claude code on your computer. Next, open your terminal app. On a Mac, press Command and Space, then type Terminal and hit Return. If you're in Windows, press Windows key and R, then type WT and press Enter. Now it's time to install Claude code. On a Mac, run this command, curl dash FSSL space HTTPS colon slash slash claude.ai slash install dot sh space pipe space bash. Or if you're on Windows, run this command, irm space HTTPS colon slash slash claude.ai slash install dot ps1 space pipe space iex. Finally, you can launch Claude code. If you run into any trouble, just ask your favorite chatbot for help. Or better yet, install Warp, which is free with your newsletter subscription. This replaces your local terminal app and automatically solves any issues you encounter trying to install stuff like Claude code. That's how I solved the problems I ran into, and I highly recommend you do the same. Let's start with five ways I've been using Claude code this month. One, clearing space on my computer. This is the prompt I used. How can I clear some storage on my computer? I then discuss my options, including cleaning the downloads folder, system caches, or emptying the trash. Other options show up too, like removing old Xcode data, cleaning the homebrew cache, finding large files, or using macOS storage management. Two, I use this prompt to enhance screenshots, improve the image quality of X. I use this many times to upscale images and enhance color, sharpness, and contrast. In one case, the new image was four times larger in total pixels with sharper text and better visual quality. Three, download this YouTube video. Then I followed its recommendation to download and install a legitimate tool for this kind of thing, then got it to run a command to download the URL. Four, downloading all of the images embedded inside a doc. Download all of the images in high res from this Google doc. This paired well with prompt number two. And five, picking a random raffle winner from a Google sheet of submissions. Pick a random row from this Google sheet to select a winner for a giveaway. I use this for a recent SOAR2 giveaway in our subscriber Slack community. Let's dive into 45 creative ways non-technical people are using Claude code. Out of the over 500 ideas you shared with me on X and LinkedIn, here are my favorites. And remember, screenshots of the first 20 are included in the written version of this post, which is linked in the show notes. One, brainstorming domain names. Just describe your project and it'll suggest creative options across multiple TLDs while verifying what's actually available to register. Two, finding high quality leads. I literally just typed, look at what I'm building and identify the top five companies in my area. That would be good for a pilot for this. Then I go to LinkedIn and message them. If it's not clear, I do this in the source directory of the code of my app. So the first thing it does is figure out what it is that I'm building. Three is very similar, but instead it's scraping GitHub repos. My product mask sensitive data in code assistant queries. So Claude Code proposed the idea to find potential leads in the GitHub repos by searching for the actual sensitive values in them and whether in the repo we see some evidence of using coding agents. This was actually genius. Not only does it filter out a lot of companies, but it also provides instant value to the lead. It came up with repos list, priority score, even LinkedIn URL. Four, noticing when you're avoiding conflict. I download all of my meeting recordings, put them in a folder, and ask Claude Code to tell me all of the times I've subtly avoided conflict. Five, figuring out why your computer is running slow. 
I sometimes use Claude Code for system diagnostics when my Mac slows down. I use it to check load averages, memory pressure, disk space, stuck processes, and swap activity. Then it dives deeper to find what's actually causing issues. It can calculate cache sizes, check Docker usage, find time machines, snapshots, eating space, etc. It is usually faster and more user-friendly than running all the commands and trying to extract the right numbers myself. It can explain what the analyses mean and why they matter, and suggest fixes with the actual commands while assessing the risk of running each of them. 6. Cleaning up messy invoice files. I use Claude code to sort my invoices for taxes. It reads each file in a messy folder, renames it to date, vendor, invoice, product, or service.pdf, and moves it into the right folder. 7. Organizing files and folders across your computer. For me, staying organized is a huge chore. The cognitive load of figuring out where to store files and keeping everything clean and up to date was insane. My hack? I run Claude code from my home directory and use it as my personal organization assistant. I'll ask it things like, find duplicate files and help me decide which to keep, organize these downloads into proper folders, review my directory structure and suggest improvements, or find old files I probably don't need anymore. It's like having a thoughtful assistant who actually understands context and can make smart decisions about file organization. It's a game changer for reducing mental clutter. Eight, building a slide for your child. I built my own DIY sub-agent last week to help me build a slide tower for my son. Nine, organizing scattered thoughts. I'm a mom who voice records ideas during morning stroller walks, not a developer. The terminal interface, overwhelming at first. The word code, but what if I don't have a coding project? After three weeks of struggling to organize my scattered thoughts, I tried it anyway and discovered something wild. Claude code isn't about coding at all. It's about having an AI that manages your entire process, whatever the goal might be how I use it. I fed it rambling voice notes from stroller walks. It organized them into coherent research themes. It wrote a full article in my exact voice, pulled from my own examples. Then it created LinkedIn versions automatically. Everything saved and was ready to publish, including grabbing a screenshot of the template repository. 10. Writing a job description. I used it to generate a full job description, hiring plan, interview plan, and rubric for a new role at Clay. I made a folder with internal notions of our hiring material for PMs, added similar role JDs from other companies, then in planning mode, asked to generate the same collateral for this new role. 11. Synthesizing transcripts of calls with customers. My current Claude code jam is synthesizing transcripts of calls with customers to compile evidence that supports or invalidates a running tally of assumptions, requirements, hypotheses, whatever. Given MCPs to interact with other tools in our productivity stack, Firefly's linear notion, etc., it's become my hub for ongoing product research and development. 12. Improving your writing. I now write all of my content with Claude code in VS Code. We iterate on an outline, it helps me improve the hook, it conducts research for me and adds citations to my outline, and it reviews and gives feedback on each section as I write. It has completely changed the way I write. 13. Working with audio files. I'm working with multiple audio files. I use Claude code to manipulate them, convert the sample rates, rename them, and translate them from Portuguese to English. 14. Creating self-driving documentation. The most interesting use case we're playing with is something I call self-driving documentation. Basically, how can we give an agent the responsibility of figuring out how or where our documentation can be better and more comprehensive? We've been experimenting with using Claude Code together with Playwright to automatically explore our software independently, identify knowledge gaps in our documentation, and then create those changes itself. Very promising. 15. Creating a self-improving feedback loop. I created a slash command that analyzes my journal entries plus my git commits for the past seven days. Usually I use this weekly. It spots gaps between what I said versus what I did and suggests system improvements like having a COO that learns from my patterns. 16. Getting inspiration from competitors' ads. Extract ads from competitors to find the problem, use case or copy or asset that's working for them, and then repurpose it for my ads. Claude Code built out these scripts that would screen grab all ads running on the ad library, and it's super cool to watch it navigate to the browser and grab all screenshots in an almost agentic way. 17. Automatically creating change logs. I use Claude Code to create user facing change logs. I ask Claude Code to scan all commits from a specific time period, then pull in my change log guidelines. It drafts a clean, structured change log that usually needs few quick edits. What earlier took me hours is now down to 10 to 15 minutes. Most of our changelog output is created with Claude code with a final polish done by me. 18. Building presentations. 
All my slide work is done in Claude code as HTML, then imported into PowerPoint. First, I make a couple of slides that I need with some simple but well-prompted data, while also prompting to create them as HTML pages. Otherwise, they might get created as SVGs, or Slop AI images. I work with Claude code, making any adjustments. When I get it the way I want it, I ask Claude code to make a template that I can use to ensure all future slides added are the same format, branding, look, and feel. This template becomes a .md file. With HTML, you can be extremely specific, like change this wording to say that, and then you can use an MCP to view the slides to show what you mean as well, for greater context. With this, I've added several more slides, as well as changed others using the template to keep things the same. Yes, hallucinations happen, that has to be accepted going in. Someone who knows what they want and can articulate what they want will not have too much trouble. When I want to put these into PowerPoint, I just do well-thought-out screenshots. But honestly, if I'm using these for a customer or some presentation, I just open a browser and I have previous and next buttons built into them so that I can click through. Claude Code creates these as interactive HTML slides so they react to the mouse. 19. Doing social media research. Using Claude Code as a social media research assistant. I built four custom subagents that scan Reddit and X for developer pain points about AI coding tools. One command finds relevant threads, then drafts authentic replies. We have a marketing GitHub repo with subagents in .clod slash agents for a Reddit replier which tracks AI coding frustrations. There's a Reddit promoter which finds productivity or burnout posts. And we have an X specialist which hunts Claude code pain points. Each knows exact keywords and communities to monitor. 20. Road mapping. Because it has access to my repos, I am able to get a pretty good view on the impact versus effort across the roadmap. Basically, hero story or press release thinking for new launches. I find it very useful, again, because it is super rich in context. I run this through a repo that I regularly git push with verbose git commit messages to create context for Claude to run some part of my decisioning workflows in future. Claude.md has paths to my engineering repos for architectural review, trade-offs, and decisions. This is the end of your free preview. To hear the full episode, become a paid subscriber at lennysnewsletter.com slash subscribe. If you're already a premium member, you can add the private feed to your podcast app by going to add.lennysreads.com. Thanks for listening and see you on the next show.